Okay, so 9 and 10 um, will involve coordinate graphing. And let's use the slide to do this. David's first point is at 6, 3. You can think of 0, 0 as your starting point. The 6 tells me to go 6 units to the right. Um, and then the 3 tells me to go 3 units up. Okay, so our first point would be approximately right there. 6, negative 1, again tells me, okay, go 6 to the right on the horizontal axis. The negative 1 tells me drop down 1. When I have negative 4 as my first coordinate, if I think of starting at 0, I have to go 4 units to the left. The negative 1 tells me to drop down 1. Negative 4, 3 means I go to the left on the horizontal axis. I go up 3. There's the four corners of David's rectangle. So it ends up looking like this. Okay, 6, 3. 6, negative 1, negative 4, negative 1, negative 4, 3. And if you were to connect them, you have your rectangle like this. Some of you had it switched. Then um, counting sides here, this side is 4. The base is 10. Just count how many units there are. Um, so our area should be 40 units squared. And adding up toothpicks or um, adding up measurements around the outside here, our perimeter is 28 units. And that should have been your answers for 9 and 10.